video today, I'm going to be doing an election prediction between former Vice President Mike Pence and President Joe Biden. Uh, I realized I haven't really done many uh, election predictions between uh, or including Mike Pence in it. Um, I don't really think he has a good shot at becoming the nominee in 2024. But of course, you know, he definitely is up there among those people. You have Trump, who's the, who was the former president, DeSantis, the most popular Republican governor, Ted Cruz, the most popular senator, obviously Mike Pence, the former vice president. Um, and it is really, I guess Cruz is competing with Hawley and, and Rand Paul, but I do think Cruz is, is among the top, if not the top of the senators. Um, you know, and out of all that, and I guess you got Jim Jordan with the, with the House, but I, I don't think that he, he will get the nomination. So yeah, Mike Pence. And he's definitely been, you know, making it seem as if he's a, um, planning on making a run. Maybe it'd be for president or, or a different office, but it definitely seems like he's due. He is eyeing up that, that White House bid. Um, you know, I believe he's been working with this small organization to create a, a platform that he believes in and all sorts of any and all sorts of things. So um, also, before I begin, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel um, as we get closer and closer to 550 subscribers. Um, and then I'd also like to say before um, before I make the prediction um, that all my predictions are based off of the current polling data, the current state of the country. Um, I don't project what things will be like two and a half years from now. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically what I do it off of. Anyway. Let's get right into our safe Biden states. Uh, in this prediction, I do think Joe Biden would be able to win the East Coast pretty handily. I mean, I mean the West Coast pretty handily. I'm actually going to leave certain states like New Jersey and Connecticut um, for that likely margin. I mean, we saw New Jersey come within three points in 2021 uh, against Eric Ciaritelli, pretty much a no-name Republican. Uh, obviously, I guess more popular statewide, but, you know, uh, sorry, I forgot New York and Vermont for Biden. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's been close, and even Connecticut went within that likely category in 2016. So 159, 125, um, let's head into our likely Biden states. Of course, Maine's first, Connecticut, New Jersey, those will also be likely, as well as Colorado. Um, that's going to be it for those likely Joe Biden states. I actually think that Mike Pence has a similar Glenn Young kind of appeal, so I actually think he could perform pretty well in Virginia. I'm still going to put that in the lean D category, of course, but I do think uh, they could narrow the margin against Biden to you know, three or four points, depending on the, the, the atmosphere um, for the election. Um, New Mexico, Pence does not have that good of a Hispanic appeal, so, you know, we'll get there, but uh, we'll see what happens. So Iowa, Ohio, and um, Maine second would all be likely Republican, as well as Texas and Florida. I mean, currently, Republicans are gaining significantly, especially in Florida, Texas. I do still believe it'll be a likely state at this point in time. But Florida, I mean, the majority of the party affiliates there, and, um, you know, when you look at those polls, those senatorial and governor polls for 2022. I mean, it's pretty damning for Democrats. Um, those lean Biden states, that'll be uh, New Mexico, Virginia, Minnesota, Maine at large, New Hampshire. I mean, Mike Pence's East Coast appeal only comes to come so far. I mean, he's not going to win many, if any, of those East Coast states. Um, another lean Biden state, I'm actually going to Biden, uh, Nevada as a lean state. Uh, I do think Pence actually would do somewhat good in that Rust Belt area. Keep in mind, he was the former governor from Indiana. So I actually do think he could uh, perform slightly well in that region. Um, but yeah, so let's head into our lean Penn states. I think that Mike Pence would be able to lean the state of, Col uh, excuse me, North Carolina in his favor, as well as Nebraska second and Wisconsin getting up to 246 electoral votes. Um, I think that Joe Biden would be able to tilt the state of Arizona in his favor. I also think he'd be able to tilt Georgia in his favor. Well, I think Pence would be able to tilt Pennsylvania in his favor. So it all comes down to the state of Michigan, Joe Biden versus Mike Pence for 2024. And I'm going to narrowly tilt that in Joe Biden's favor, getting him this most narrow election victory against Mike Pence. Um, you know, even at this point in time against Mike Pence, I do think Biden really does have somewhat of a, of a shot at winning. And I do think he would be able to beat Mike Pence. So that gets it 265 to 273. Joe Biden gets a second term as president. Um, so yeah, pretty much the only changes from 2016 are Nebraska second, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on my election prediction, what you would keep the same, what, what, would, what you would change. Um, like the video below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.